I'd now like to welcome Jim Ayres and Jeff Short, Vice President and Pacific Science Director of Oceana. Welcome to the summit. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Tell us a bit about Oceana, for those who don't know. Uh, Oceana is an international conservation organization uh, dedicated to protecting the oceans. We have offices uh, throughout Europe, uh, North America. Uh, we have an office in South America in Chile, uh, in which I've just returned. And we've just opened an office in Belize. What current initiatives are you working on? Well, probably the most important initiative that we're working on is the relationship of the Arctic Ocean and the loss of sea ice. What climate change is doing to the Arctic, it's going to do to the planet. And uh, that, that message is, on the face of it, a simple message. Uh, on the other hand, um, we, at least in the United States, don't quite yet understand how severe uh, that basic understanding is, or that basic principle, of, as goes the Arctic, so goes the planet. What can we do to stop the ocean degradation? Well, it's interesting that uh, climate change and that question are interrelated. The most important thing actually we can do in, in terms of adaptation with regard to climate change in our oceans is look at what we're doing to our oceans and try and build the resilience of our oceans to get through this climate change catastrophe. Right now, uh, the degradation of habitat by bottom trawling is probably the simplest thing. We know we're doing it. We know it has uh, significant long-term consequences. Uh, and, and that combined with overfishing is what's driving down the entire capacity of our oceans to produce seafood to support the ecosystem. Those are two very simple things, but they're going to be critical in getting uh, species, including the fisheries, through this climate change catastrophe. What other areas will be touching on? I'll be moderating uh, a panel tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 with uh, a brilliant panel of 10 people, including uh, the EPA Commissioner of New York. And I think that the important topics are what we were just discussing. What, what's happening to our oceans? What can we do about it? We know, we know what's happening. We now know what's causing it. The question is, do we understand thoroughly that we have to do something about it? And the other part of that is, not acting means that our children are going to have um, inherit kind of a very uh, uncomfortable, if not catastrophic future. And finally, is there any one thing that you'd like to leave with our viewers uh, to make them more aware of what we're doing to our oceans and hopefully stop playing a part in that? I think that if there's one message for individuals uh, beyond the collective message that Jeff was just mentioning, that there are people here who actually make decisions every day about the oceans or appointments that are going to affect uh, what happens. Every individual, every day, when they buy plastics and throw it away, when they use some chemical that they haven't uh, thought about uh, disposing, when they actually go to purchase, consume uh, at the market, is going to have an effect on the ocean. And every individual can change what's happening to our ocean. And I, and I think that's, the, the, that's probably the simplistic version of how we must change, that each individual has to think each day, I'm going to do something today to change my behavior. And if that happened, we could do something to change the world. Every, uh, my message would be every, every action you take that causes fossil fuels to be burned acidifies the ocean more. And, and so every, all you can do to minimize that uh, will, will back us away from the edge of this precipice. Well, I hope we do <laughs> certainly back away. And I thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time and enjoy the summit. Thank you very much, Sarah, for thank what you're you, doing. Sir. Not at all. Appreciate thank you. It. Thanks. Great to meet you both. And you.